Welcome to the Sphere of Grace. This is Pastor Shogun Baji, and I'm bringing you God's Word today titled, The Concept of Grace. The concept of grace, as we have it in the New Testament, has been misunderstood by a lot of Christians, just because um, of the following reasons. Number one, lack of adequate and correct teachings on the subject of grace. And there are a lot of misconceptions, misunderstanding as touching grace because um, we do not find a lot of teaching on grace going on in the body of Christ. The very few preachers and teachers that are teaching on grace um, are teaching it um, vehemently and radically, but the awareness of the message of grace is still a little bit lean and slim in the body of Christ. And God has packaged this platform to um, enhance and better foster the message of grace. And so the concept of grace must be well understood because that is the big difference between the New Testament and the Old Testament. The Old Testament was all about the law. The New Testament is all about grace. Grace concept actually shows us the different ramifications and sides to what the grace message stands for. It's not just one side of it. It's not just the top of it or the bottom of it. The concept of grace gives us the holistic view to the message of grace and the complete and rounded understanding of the message of grace. The concept of grace unveils to us the totality of who Jesus is, his person, the person of Jesus, his power, the power of Jesus, his purpose, why he came, and the product of his life. That is what the message of grace is all about. It's all about the person of Jesus and who we are in him, who he is in us what our life is all about in him and the reason he came and the reason he's coming back again it's a complete perspective of the message of grace and today we see that there are a lot of god's children believers born again who do not have a good understanding of the message of grace because there's a carryover of religious mentality into christ you know they carry over the the mentality of the law, the way religious people lived before they got born again, somehow they caught on that. They saw that, you know, run through their mind again and again. And somehow in their subconscious, they are born again now, but the unrenewed mind becomes an impediment to the understanding of the message of grace and the manifestation of grace. So as you get to know him by revelation, you get to know the grace of God more and more. And I pray for you today that the Lord will give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Jesus Christ, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you know that he is with you and he lives big in you by the spirit of God that is in you. That you will know that in your office is right there with you. He says, Lo, I'm with you even unto the end of the world. He will not leave you nor forsake you. And he is the grace of God unveiled to you. As you develop the consciousness of the presence of Jesus, you will begin to develop the consciousness of the grace of God. There is the consciousness of the grace of God. And that consciousness is the consciousness of Jesus Christ with you. Jesus Christ alive in you. Jesus Christ with you. He says, I'm with you to the end of the world. So be strong. Be bold. Stare that challenge in the face and say, Jesus lives big in me by the Holy Spirit. And Jesus is with me and I'm not alone. And approach life with that consciousness step into doing things with that consciousness and that's the consciousness of the grace of god the enablement of god at work in you i believe you've been blessed today 
I want you to look forward to receiving us again tomorrow as I bring you God's word that will bless you and lift you. Keep focusing on Jesus. Keep thinking about his love, his person, his purpose, his power, and you are his product. God bless you. Amen.